Today's funny story is all about Orville the Hogfather Thompson, a man with a pig farm so legendary, it attracted the attention of some, shall we say, peculiar government officials from the DR, or better known as the Department of Absurd Regulation. Let's see how Orville handled their scrutiny. Orville, the Hogfather. Thompson was a man who understood pigs. He wasn't your average farmer, no sir. Orville could talk to those pink powerhouses like they were barnyard philosophers. Now, pigs, as history tells us, are descendants of wild boars, ferocious beasts that roamed the Eurasian continent thousands of years ago. Fearsome fighters they were, but Orville saw their potential beyond tusks and temper tantrums. He saw gourmets, discerning connoisseurs of the finest slop. One sunny afternoon, a crisp government suit named Agent Fitzwilliam from the Department of Absurd Regulations arrived at Orville's farm. Fitzwilliam, looking like a man allergic to fresh air, adjusted his tie and peered at the mud-caked pigs with disdain. Mr. Thompson, we've received reports of unsanctioned dietary practices at your farm. Orville, a man with a sun-baked face and a twinkle in his eye, chuckled. Dietary practices, huh? Those hogs just like a little variety in their meals, wouldn't you say, boys? A chorus of enthusiastic snorts echoed his statement. One particularly rotund pig, Wilbur, known for his sophisticated palate, oinked in agreement. Fitzwilliam, however, wasn't convinced. Variety, Mr. Thompson? We have reports of leftover pizza, donut holes, even the occasional expired jar of pickles. Orville scratched his chin. Well, you can't blame a pig for having adventurous taste buds, can you? Fitzwilliam puffed up like a deflated balloon. Mr. Thompson, this is clearly animal cruelty. These creatures need a balanced diet. I'm afraid a $10,000 fine is in order. Orville sighed theatrically. All right, all right. Don't you government folks just love your paperwork? Tell you what, why don't you come back tomorrow and see how I really treat my pigs? Intrigued and slightly terrified, Fitzwilliam returned the next day. This time, he was greeted by a sight that made his monocle pop out. Orville stood in a makeshift gourmet market, surrounded by his pigs. He was holding a can of caviar, a voice that could rival a used car salesman booming from a microphone. All right, folks, listen up. Today's special is beluga caviar, flown in fresh from the Caspian Sea, packed with protein and omega-3s guaranteed to make your snout sing. The pigs, adorned in tiny chef's hats, squealed and oinked with excitement. Wilbur, ever the food critic, sniffed the caviar with an air of disdain. Fitzwilliam was speechless. Mr. Thompson, caviar, for pigs, this is even worse than the pizza. They'll get indigestion. Fitzwilliam almost fainted. Orville simply chuckled, patting Wilbur's head. Another $10,000 fine for you, Mr. Thompson. Now Fitzwilliam was angry. Mr. Thompson, knowing that he has a huge problem on his hands, we're going to have a difficult night. The next morning, early Mr. Fitzwilliams from the Department of Absurd Regulation was ready for his last and final inspection. Mr. Thompson came out of his house with a grin on his face and escorted Mr. Fitzwilliams to the pig pen. Now show me what food you have given your pigs that is applicable for them. Mr. Thompson called all the pigs together. They looked very happy. Now where is their food? Mr. Fitzwilliams asked. It has all been consumed. I gave my pigs each $30 to go into town to buy their own food. <laughs> if you liked our joke, then please watch our next joke by clicking here.